when will my immune system recover after taking prednisone? Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist, and this is a great question to ask because prednisone is often prescribed as an immunosuppressant. I was personally prescribed it for an autoimmune condition because my immune system was attacking my platelets. So my doctor gave me prednisone and I'm still here today. I didn't bleed to death. It literally saved my life and I'm so grateful for that, but it comes at a price. It is weakening your immune system. So how long does prednisone weaken your immune system? I have the five D's of how prednisone weakens our immune system. First is your disease. Your disease itself for which you are taking prednisone can weaken your immune system and taking prednisone with a disease like rheumatoid arthritis can do complicated things to your immune system. And so that affects how long your weakening lasts. Number two is your DNA. Prednisone can affect so much of your DNA. I was completely blown away when I read a textbook saying that it can affect up to two thirds of your genes. And so your genes are different than my genes. And so your DNA is affected differently by how prednisone is affecting your immune system. Number three, and most important is your dose, your dose of prednisone, whether it's 2.5, 40 or 200, anywhere in that range, your immune system being weakened is different and how long your immune system takes to recover is different. So 2.5 milligrams is enough to suppress your immune system after getting a kidney transplant. People are prescribed that to stop their immune system from attacking their new kidney. So 2.5 is enough to affect your immune system. But 40 and above is where the big problem starts, where immune system is immunosuppressed the most. And so above 40 milligrams, you're looking at much higher risks of infections like sepsis, of reactivation of viral infections like the chicken pox that you got as a child can reactivate as herpes zoster shingles as an adult or fungal infections like yeast infections. And so those are possibilities. But the most important definition is from the CDC. And they said that 20 milligrams is kind of the cutoff. If you're taking 20 milligrams and above for 14 days or longer, then you are substantially immunosuppressed. Below that, then maybe not as substantially immunosuppressed. And so you don't have to take such drastic measures when it comes to vaccines, but you should definitely work with your doctor because it's more nuanced at that point. But 20 milligrams and above is when the CDC considers that you have suppression of your immune system. Number four, a factor that's weakening your immune system is other drugs. So most People know that they're taking an immunosuppressive drug like hydroxychloroquine or sulfasalazine or other drugs that can affect our immune system. But lots of other drugs you don't even know can affect your immune system too. Like statins, the most commonly prescribed drug for high blood pressure. They can have a little bit of an effect on your immune system too. So those things can continue to keep the weakening caused by prednisone of your immune system to be delayed. And number five is the decade. So how old you are, what year you were born. So if you're in your first decade, your immune system is fantastic, working super fast to get rid of all of those childhood infections. Whereas those in their seventh, eighth, and ninth decades have slower immune systems. And so this affects how long prednisone is weakening your immune system. So what can you do about it? Well, what's important to note is that prednisone is causing this weakening immune system to many different types of cells, from your T cells to your B cells to your eosinophils. For example, if you take prednisone, even one dose, it completely decimates your eosinophil population. Like if you get your blood tested the day before and the day after you take prednisone, you had some eosinophils, now you have zero. And so it's affecting your entire immune system. And one way they can measure the recovery time of how long prednisone will weaken your immune system is using immunoglobulins. Try saying that 10 times fast. Immunoglobulins, IgG, that's immunoglobulin G, IgA, IgM, are all affected a little differently. IgM 
is not affected by prednisone. So that's cool. But IgA and IgG, they've done tests to see how long doses cause uh, lower numbers. And so for IgG, one study showed that it was weeks to months before it recovered. Another study showed it was a month before the IgG was back to normal. IgA for the tests that they've done shows six to eight weeks. So your immune system is weakened for somewhere between four to six to eight weeks, depending on what type of immune system we're talking about. Another site called UpToDate, which is the most premier medical reference that doctors consult, it says parts of the immune system are affected for weeks, months, or even up to a year. So it all depends on those five Ds I mentioned earlier, but some things are affected for up to a year after taking prednisone. And what's happening is prednisone is actually stealing things from your body and making it harder for your immune system to recover. So if you want to give your body the best result it can to be able to recover after taking prednisone, then you need to give back what prednisone has been stealing. For example, prednisone steals vitamin C and zinc and other factors that your body needs to build a proper response to threats to the immune system. And if you're not giving them back and in the right quantity at the right time of day, you might not be giving your immune system what it needs to fully recover. And it will continue to stay weak. And so if you want to know the best source of vitamin C, zinc, and other nutrients that prednisone is depleting, just click the link below and I'll send you exactly what you need while taking prednisone. Signing off is Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.